For decades, the military application of laser weapon systems has remained in the realm of science fiction, with only the sporadic experimental design being brought up. However, that is about to change. In the following years, laser weapon systems will become a reality that will forever transform the future of warfare. American weapons manufacturer Lockheed Martin is in the late testing stages of groundbreaking tactical airborne laser pod technology that will allow combat planes to intercept and destroy missiles, drones, and other dangerous projectiles at the speed of light. Releasing such a massive amount of focused energy would prove a game changer for military organizations around the world, and many of them are already attempting to develop technologies to counteract the overwhelming devastation that the technology would bring. In the meantime, the addition of these laser pods to the U.S. Air Force arsenal represents yet another remarkable advantage in protecting American pilots, one that comes at the speed of light. Laser Weapon Systems Ever since light amplification was theorized in the early 1950s, its possible applications have captured people's imaginations around the globe. In the 1960s, the first experiments with light amplification were successfully conducted, resulting in the development of the first light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation devices, or laser. By using lenses, mirrors, and electronic technology, laser devices are able to focus light energy into a tiny spot in space, effectively amplifying the effect the light has on the target. As time went by, laser technology became more efficient and easier to produce, leading to the assimilation of the devices into a wide range of technologies, from presentation pointers, optical disk drives, laser printers, and barcode scanners, all the way to DNA sequencing instruments and fiber optics. However, despite the multifaceted applications achieved by laser technologies, its use as a weapon had long been limited to the pages and screens of science fiction stories, mainly due to power limitations. Energy. A vast amount of energy input is needed to go through a large-sized device in order to produce the minimal amount of focused energy to work as a weapon at a long distance. For instance, a conventional kinetic weapon is able to deliver about one kilojoule to a target when using a 357 Magnum round. Meanwhile, a laser functioning at 10% efficiency due to distance and environment factors requires 10 kilojoules of input energy to deliver the same one kilojoule laser pulse. Hence, laser weapons have been left to the side for decades, as they were too resource costly and bulky in contrast to conventional armament. Another major issue that has staggered the development of laser weapons is the massive disadvantage they present to any environmental contaminant. To be 100% effective, a laser should be moving through a vacuum or through empty air, as particles from gases, smoke, dust, or any other polluting element will radically reduce the energy output the laser delivers to its target. Such a disadvantage means that something as simple as a smoke grenade could make a powerful laser weapon practically useless, as the smoke particles absorb most of the energy traveling to its target. Still, the significant technological advancements in laser devices have made it possible for the military to find potential niches for such amplified energy sources. And the main advantage of laser weapon systems over any other conventional means of armament is their unparalleled delivery speeds. Laser weapons channel light, so they can deliver their firepower almost instantaneously. This makes them highly valuable as interception weapons to reach high-speed projectiles that would otherwise be practically impossible to intercept in mid-flight. Lockheed Martin's Approach Lockheed Martin's laser technology has been in development for over 40 years, and they've managed to decrease its inherent disadvantages while enhancing the fantastic features that have captured the imaginations of generations. Although the corporation's laser solutions are still designed with limited applications in mind, they've reached a point where they're able to mass-produce laser weapon systems capable of defeating small rockets, unmanned aerial vehicles, small attack boats, and lightweight ground vehicles in a wide variety of environmental conditions. One of the first applications that will see the light of day is their tactical airborne laser pod, which was designed and developed to support a rapid shift to production and deployment, and eventually a transition to embedded systems. Mark Steven, leader of Lockheed Martin Missiles and Fire Control Strategic Technology Development Efforts, stated, quote, The sniper pod. It has lasers inside of it that have to be maintained onto a target during high-speed maneuvers in flight. So the technology and the algorithms we've developed over the last 40 years on those types of electro-optical systems with laser designators in them are directly applicable from a pointing and jitter control standpoint. 
as the technology stands now. It consists of an external pod capsule that houses the tactical beam directors and the focusing lens, along with the power generator. The unit can easily be attached to a wide variety of aircraft and can effortlessly be removed if a specific mission requires a different array of armaments. To function as envisioned by the weapon's manufacturer, the laser pods must work in conjunction with several other tracking and threat detection subsystems. Still, the specific details about these additional requirements have not been made public by Lockheed Martin, but their functionality was demonstrated in a computer-rendered simulation that showcased the tactical airborne laser pod in action. In the video, a large Boeing KC-46 Pegasus strategic transport aircraft is seen providing threat detection support via a network of infrared sensors and tracking devices. The aircraft successfully detects two incoming projectiles, a surface-to-air missile launched from a naval warship and an air-to-air -air rocket deployed by an enemy fighter. The tracking information is relayed to two General Dynamics F-16C Fighting Falcons equipped with the tactical airborne laser pod as they successfully lock on to the incoming targets and fire their lasers to immediately disable both threats. So far, Lockheed Martin has not made detailed statements regarding the efficiency reduction rates of their tactical airborne laser pod systems when used in less than ideal environments. However, if they were able to drastically reduce the effect of gas particles on the laser's energy output, the results would be unprecedented. The future. As laser weapon systems shift from the lab to the battlefield, military developers are eagerly looking for ways to develop and manufacture the specific materials and technologies that make high-powered lasers possible. One of the main obstacles left to overcome before laser weapons can be widely deployed is the creation of a robust beam director industry. The beam director is the optical system that puts high-energy light on the target and keeps it there with high precision. The ability to produce beam directors in large numbers at a low cost is crucial to the eventual mass production of laser weapon systems. Other critical components, such as optics that can sustain high-energy laser beams, have only been built in minimal quantities for prototypes and experimental technology. Massive investment is required in order to manufacture such components at total production rates and at lower costs. According to Mark Steven, the efforts to jumpstart the laser weapon manufacture industry are on their way. Quote, We're making capital investments to be ready to manufacture key high-energy laser components at full production rates and low cost. We're investing over $20 million in our Orlando-based optical component center to expand the manufacturing footprint by 40%. It is clear that manufacturing setbacks are temporary, and once the production chain of components is established, the future of laser warfare technology will be unleashed, and the technology will be implemented in airborne, naval, and ground military systems. Thank you for watching my video. What do you think laser weapons technology might look like in 20 years? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. And for more thrilling history-inspired stories, don't forget to subscribe to all of our Dark Documentaries channels and ring the notification bell. Stay tuned.